Raw Story is reporting on some Alabama Republicans who are pushing legislation to try and punish poor people. Stay classy. So here's what they say. The bill, created by Republican Senator Arthur Orr, cuts the time frame for poverty assistance from five years to three years. It also creates a new layer of bureaucracy for poor people seeking help, including the requirement that they sign a contract vowing to adhere to the program's rules. It also disqualifies people from getting food stamps or financial assistance if the recipients own cars. The bill will go to the state Senate after a clearing committee 10 to 3. Uh, it limits food stamps and welfare. The vast majority of welfare recipients, 77%, are children. Wow. Now, this goes to show you that on the far right, they genuinely view poverty as some sort of individual moral failing. They don't view it as part of a, a broader economic system. They don't view it as something that uh, oftentimes is a byproduct of capitalism, where some people are going to be left behind, some people are going to be poor, and it, they don't think that as a result of that, hey, we should set up some sort of system that tries to fix those ills. They view it as, if you got left behind, if the macroeconomic factor screwed you, well, it, it, it's a moral failing on your part. Like, it shows some sort of defect in character. Well, do yourself a favor. Go talk to somebody, anybody who got laid off during the Great Recession and ask them if it was a moral failing on their part. No. You had the economy crashed, largely because of bad decisions made on Wall Street uh, and terrible loans that were given out to make profit in the short term. And people, they, they were fired because their bosses decided to fire them. Oftentimes, it had nothing to do with their performance. They could have been fine, but companies had to downsize. And virtually all the time, when you go and look at the, the, the data, you have more people than job openings. So that the math doesn't work. There are, people are just fucked and left behind by the system, regardless of how much they want to work, how much they want that promotion, how much they want good employment, and all that stuff. So, I mean, that fundamentally destroys the logic of, hey, if you don't have a job, hey, if you're in poverty, it, you know, you're lazy, you're a moocher, you're a parasite, it's on you, it's your fault. No, oftentimes that's not true. You, I mean, you're always going to need people, for example, to do minimum wage jobs. So when Republicans talk about the minimum wage, like, oh, well, if you want to make more money, you just get the promotion or just go get a better job. Well, jackass, let's use your logic and extrapolate here. Let's say everybody woke up tomorrow who's a minimum wage worker and they say, I'm going to make more money. I'm going to get that promotion. You know, uh, I'm going to get a new job and make more money. Well, again, you're always going to need people to do those minimum wage jobs. So not everybody is going to get the job, even if they want it, that pays more. Not everybody's going to get the promotion, even if they want it, that pays more. No matter how hard they work. You'd be the hardest worker in the world, but if luck doesn't fall right and there's no nepotism or favoritism, you ain't going to go up that ladder. But they view it as, I don't care, it's on you. If you make less than a living wage, it's not the fault of the system for not providing a living wage. It's your fucking fault. Look in the mirror. Even though you work full time, even though you bust your ass, you deserve to live in poverty. How callous is that? And this is from the same group of people that loves to bring up Jesus as much as possible. I love Christianity. I love Jesus. Oh, he's, he's our Lord and Savior. And by the way, we should do the opposite of what he wants in every realm in politics. These are usually the same people who are for the Iraq War. They're for the torture program. You know, they're like, help the poor. Fuck off. I mean, look at this, man. And also... There's one other part that I really thought was fascinating. Oh, they say you need to sign a contract and promise to adhere to the rules of the program. And if you don't, well, then we take everything away. Can you imagine they ever did that with Wall Street? <laughs> okay, look, look. We're going to give you a bailout here, but here's the deal. You can't make these same risky loans that you made before. You can't do X, Y, or Z. And you need to make sure that you do everything right. Uh, and there are some red lines here. You can't cross them. They would never do that. In fact, they didn't do that. What they said is, hey, here's a bailout. No strings attached. <laughs> Rules that you have to follow with taxpayer money that we just gave you. No, do whatever the fuck you want. What the fuck, man? <laughs> so if, if it's government money going to the rich, going to the people who bought the government, 
Oh, pfft, go nuts. We don't care. But if it's taxpayer dollars going towards people who were screwed over and left behind because of the system, oh, we're going to be punitive against you. You know, oh, you fell on hard times and you lost your job through no fault of your own and you need uh, just a couple bucks to feed your fucking kids? Yeah, I see through your scam here. Well, I'm going to crack down on you. You got to sign this contract. And oh, yeah, get a job, but you're not allowed to have a car. What the fuck? If you have a car and you're on food stamps for welfare, they're like, no, no more food stamps for welfare. Well, then how the fuck are they supposed to get a job if you're saying no car? Uh, and if to have food stamps in order to keep the food stamps you can't have a car in order to keep the welfare you can't have a car well you're perpetuating the cycle here <laughs> they need the car to find a job in order to get off the food stamps and the welfare it's unbelievable guys they view it as a moral failing they view poverty not as part of larger economic problems they view it as you're just a bad person which is super ironic because based on their policies and what they want to do, it's a fair thing to take away that indeed they are bad people because they're callous as fuck and they're unable to put themselves in anybody else's shoes. You bet your fucking ass that if one of them fell on hard times, one of them uh, was in poverty, they lost their job, they're down on their luck. Oh, they would think they are entitled to the welfare and food stamps and the social safety net. It's me who fell on hard times. Obviously, I'm a good person. I care. It's just those other poor people and minorities. They're the icky ones who don't care and they're lazy and they just want to collect their checks. But me, I'm a good person. So if I fall on hard times, gimme, gimme, gimme. If they fall on hard times, I'll take away their car. Make them sign something that says that they'll follow everything. And if they don't, take it away. Please.